What's up everyone, it's IceManoz, aka J, and in this video I've got for you guys another Battlefield 1 discussion video. So we're going to talk about some new details regarding the classes in the game. So a lot of people don't really understand how the classes are going to work. There has been a major switch up from the traditional Assault, Engineer, Support and Recon. There's been a huge flip around, specifically the removal of the Engineer class. So let's get into it. First of all, the Assault class is now going to basically take the role of the Engineer in one aspect. The aspects being that the Assault is especially dominant against the vehicles. You have a lot of different equipment available as the Assault. If you're playing on a very vehicle heavy map, the Assault class is the way to go. In the past couple of Battlefield games, the Assault class has been more along the lines of the traditional Medic, where they have the paddles or the defibrillators, as they're actually known by, and they have the med kit. That is no longer the case in the current assault class. One of the classes that has mainly stayed the same is the support class. It gives ammo, and that is basically all you need to know. Access to light machine guns, which have some pretty heavy-hitting firepower. There's not much really changed here from the previous iterations of the Battlefield games. Another class has pretty much stayed the same, fondly known as the Bush Wookie in Bad Company 2, known as the Camper in Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, and Hardline. It is the Recon class, and the Recon class will specialize in spotting enemies, very good with your bolt-action sniper rifles and DMRs. And then finally, the main change to the classes, which is the most important thing, is a dedicated medic class. They have not only access to the equivalent in Battlefield 1's defibrillator, the med bags, but they also have access to be able to revive vehicles, to be able to repair vehicles back to their full strength. So the medic class is all about keeping your teammates alive, your vehicles alive that is what it is specialized in and I'm glad that they've separated the classes I think that a dedicated medic class is something that will be really cool I will be using that class all the time just knowing me if you guys know me at all I have always used the assault but the assault class is basically the engineer now so I'm gonna have to switch it up a bit let me know in the comments section below what you guys are going to be playing most out of all of these classes. But that's not all. There are actually going to be two extra classes in the game. Yes, you heard me right. There is a dedicated tanker and pilot class. Instead of, let's say, if you are an assault and you want to get into a tank, that's no longer really the case. When you select tanker or the pilot class, you become the vehicle. The vehicle becomes your primary weapon. The gadgets that you have are specific to the vehicle that you're using, so it becomes a completely separate class. So if you're using the tanker, you'll have access to the tank shells. If you're up in the air as a pilot, you'll have access to repairs while you're up in the air. So it is quite interesting the way they've set this up, but one thing to note though is if you do get access to the enemy's vehicle, you don't have to be the tanker or pilot class to steal their vehicle, which I think is a good thing and quite an obvious thing to do from a design standpoint. But that being said, leave your thoughts again in the comments section below about everything I've talked about in today's video, but hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.